integration property of Fourier transform. Fourier transform of xt is x omega, then we will find the Fourier transform of integration of xt now let us see the integration of x tau from minus infinity to t this signal can be written as integration of x tau u t minus tau d tau and lower limit of tau is minus infinity upper limit of tau is plus infinity which is convolution of x t and u t so this integration of x tau from minus infinity to t is convolution of x t and u t now we will find the fourier transform of this integration of x tau from uh, minus infinity to t this will be integration of integration of x tau from minus infinity to t e to the power minus q omega t now this uh, integration of x tau from minus infinity to t can be replaced by this integration which is integration of x tau u t minus tau d tau e to the power minus j omega t dt now we will change the order of integration first we will integrate with, with respect to t and then we come to tau so this will be integration of x tau then integration of u t minus tau e to the power minus j omega t dt and then integration with respect to tau here this integration of u t minus tau e to the power minus j omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity is the Fourier transform of Fourier transform of u t minus tau so Fourier transform of integration of x tau from minus infinity to t is now integration of x tau into Fourier transform of u t minus tau that is e to the power minus j omega tau into Fourier transform of u t that is 1 by j omega plus pi del omega and then d tau since Fourier transform of u t is 1 by j omega plus pi del omega 
Fourier transform of u t minus tau is e to the power minus j omega tau 1 by j omega plus pi del omega. This is the time shifting property of Fourier transform. So now the Fourier transform of integration of x tau from minus infinity to t is see this uh, this term 1 by j omega plus pi del omega is independent of tau so this will come out of integration then we have integration of x tau e to the power minus j omega tau and this is nothing but the Fourier transform of x tau or x t that is x omega so we will write Fourier transform of integration of x tau from minus infinity to t as 1 by j omega plus pi del omega into x omega. So this is x omega by j omega plus pi x omega del omega which is uh, x omega by j omega plus pi x of 0 del omega since g omega into del omega is g 0 del omega. So this is the Fourier transform of integration of x tau from minus infinity to t which is uh, x omega by j omega plus pi x of 0 del omega. Let us see one example of this property. Fourier transform of del t is 1. So, Fourier transform of integration of del tau from minus infinity to t should be 1 by j omega because x omega is 1. So, x omega by j omega plus pi x omega is 1 which is independent of omega. So, x of 0 is still 1 del omega and integration of del tau from minus infinity to t is unit step signal and its Fourier transform is 1 by j omega plus pi del omega. That is how we use the integration property of Fourier transform.